y'all you may have seen my glam seamless hair extensions video in the past if you haven't go watch it after this video i have always been very interested in hair pieces i've tried to buy synthetic ponytails and bangs and stuff from Amazon and they just don't look cute and I think really it's mainly just because it's not human hair. So I reached out to Glam Seamless and they sent me some goodies. So I got, excuse me, I, I already opened it. I'm sorry, it's not cute. But I got their Invisa ponytail and their bangs. Before I show you what everything looks like, I just want to give you a little disclaimer that these are not the original colors these came in. They actually didn't match my real hair at all. Um, I'm the worst at picking out hair extension colors that match my hair. So the bangs were actually super blonde originally and they were originally Mocha Brunette Balayage. But they were just super blonde. Like, I wish I would have recorded what the color looked like originally, but I didn't. I will let you know the hair dye that I used down below. This is the ponytail. It was originally called Caramel Balayage. I did put my hair dye on it. This is very thick, by the way. This is a lot of hair. I used one box of hair dye for this and the bangs, and I didn't have enough for the ponytail. So this is actually very thick. And you can kind of see like the ashier tones in here. It's from before I dyed it. And then now it's just more brown and red. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my hair up in a little itty bitty bun and show you how to apply both of these products. I feel so weird with my hair up. I always feel like I look like an alien. So I just put my hair up in like a top knot. And I like to use these the little spirally um, hair tie things. Hold your hair really nice and tight and that's what you want. Do not use a scrunchie. Do not use a normal hair tie. Definitely use one of these or even I used to use um, like little baby claw clips because you want this to not move. You want this to be the most solid thing in the world. Here's the ponytail and I just washed and dried it. When you receive it, it's actually going to be nice and straight. This is what the inside looks like. There's a little clip that goes in right here and this is Velcro. So it's going to wrap around your ponytail. Here we go. So you just slide it in. Then I separate this piece and make sure I wrap it around without getting any extras from the rest of it. I'm pulling this piece right here actually like super hard, but I'm holding it in here and wrap it around. I go a lot gentler and loose. Take a bobby pin and just pin that little piece of hair in there. So there's that. The roots match my roots very well. I think it looks super natural. I think it's super cute and I love the color. It is human hair, so keep in mind that you can dye it. Just try to find something that's close enough. I love this. Ah! I'm so super in love with this a lot more than I thought I would be. And as you can see, like all your hair is puffed up, so it just like looks natural. So much better than anyone who's ever tried to put clip-in extensions into a ponytail. I watch so many YouTube videos and I don't know how they do it. It does not make sense. See how this matches? I think that matches pretty well. This is four inches. It has these clip-ins like that. I can't have my bangs flipping up like that. So I'm gonna go fix that with a hair straightener really quick and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and took the straightener and just like made them look better as you can see. And now I'm going to clip them in. You know what? Maybe these look better just when your hair is down and maybe not in a ponytail. Oh my gosh, but you know what? If this was like in a bun, wouldn't I totally look like Tinkerbell? I totally look like a, a, a Greek version of Tinkerbell. I don't really know what to do with these. This is kind of the best that I can do, but I'm sure there's an expert out there somewhere that's just telling me I'm so wrong. I think if I work with them a little bit more, I would wear them. Um, I think I just removed them. There we go. There is Alexia. There is my forehead. I actually do love this look. I think I'm gonna try the bangs with my hair down. I'm back. I just decided to curl my hair with these bangs. Definitely match my real hair a lot better. I very strongly apologize for this. Okay, so here's another look with the bangs and I actually think this looks a lot better. It looks pretty legit. It matches pretty close. This is really taking me back to like 
eighth grade. I had black hair and I had bangs like this. And at the time, everyone called me Blondie. If you don't know why, I'm gonna tell you. So there was this Vanessa Hudgens movie called Sucker Punch. Well, actually, she was like not the main character, but anyways, her hair basically was this style, but black, and her name was Blondie, and so everyone was calling me that for a while. That's it for this video. Please leave comments down below on what you think of the bangs. What did you think of the ponytail? Would you try them? Do you think I wore them well? Do you think I figured out how to use them? Let me know. Also, make sure you check out the link down in the bio if you wanna buy it for yourself. They have tons of colors to choose from. I'm sure you'll figure out your perfect color unlike me who's just lazy and just ordered whatever. If you found this video helpful at all, please give it a good old thumbs up and subscribe for more.